The 829 Super Tucano built by Embraer is the golden standard flight attack, attack aircraft. And I may wonder, what do you mean golden standard or why is it the best out of all the light attack aircraft around the world? Well, here are a couple reasons why. So before we get into that, there are a couple of different classifications of military aircraft, such as transports, cargo, helicopter, or light attack aircraft. So each one has their specific classification. If you see like any fire jets, right? They'll be such as, for example, the F-15 Eagle, that's a fire jet since it has an F. The C-17, C-130, C-5 Galaxy. The C it stands for cargo. You have helicopters like the Apache, the Chinook, and all the different helicopters built around the world have their own classification like that. And when it comes to light, attack aircraft in general, whether it be light or just attack aircraft, it's A, for example. Another one is a Timorthog, which is used for close air support. So now come back to the Embraer A29 Super Tucano. Now, this is a light attack slash armor constant aircraft turboprop to a sound jet, but it's a turboprop designed by Embraer in Brazil and built under the license by Sierra Nevada Corp. So a couple of reasons why this aircraft is considered the golden standard is, first of all, it's affordable. And what I mean by that is, so there are a lot of countries on the, around the world, some bigger than others. And for the countries that are smaller and have a lower military budget than compared to bigger sized countries, this aircraft is affordable, affordable and can be used in a multitude of roles, like I said, which is one light attack, or if they want to do reconnaissance, that's also possible. Reconnaissance basically means to spy, but one affordable since the military budget of a smaller country isn't as big of budget as a big country then. So for example, uh, let's just say you have a country like Peru, its military budget is not as much as any bigger countries like the US, Russia, China, all the superpowers, the military budget isn't as big and they have to allocate for each category depending on their training there, everything like that. So next we come to its recognition, meaning if properly maintained can work up, can be in service up to 20, 25 years. And there are also other light, uh, air, light attack aircraft too that are rugged, such as the uh, Northrop Grumman F-5, F-5 Freedom Fighter, which is a very popular light, light attack aircraft, though it's a jet, so it's not a turboprop. So, the, and it's still used in a couple of different air forces around the world, the F-5 Freedom Fighter. And come back to the a29 it is as i said if maintained properly it's rugged it can last as long as up to 20 25 years and this is important because you just want an aircraft that it would stay in service for quite some time so that way you don't have to buy a new type of aircraft for example let's just say your country and you brought this aircraft, the A29, and it's as I said, and you're the it's being properly maintained and everything. It can last you up to 25 years, as I already mentioned. This is important because you don't want an aircraft to maybe like a year or two years in service start having problems. So, so where every after every mission is flown or before any mission is flying, if there's an issue with it and it starts to become more prevalent then your defense, if need to be defended, or your offense, if you want to attack, is slowly diminishing, that's not good, and then you would have to get another aircraft of a different type, depending on the budget allocated for it. And another thing about the A29 that makes it so reliable is it's low maintenance. So it's 1500 per hour to maintain the aircraft, which is very, which is low maintenance. So that way, 
any country, any of the smaller countries with a lower budget could still have the ability to maintain it and use it for defense purposes if needed or if they want to attack. That's also there. So that and one more other reason slash ability that makes it so effective for a light attack aircraft is that the ability to land on unpaved, basically the ability to land on a strip of land, as long because it doesn't have to be paved, like, it doesn't have to be an actual concrete runway, even if it's a highway, grass, or sand, still has the ability to land and take off from unprepared surfaces, which makes it very effective. For example, if you were flying a mission and it's really far, but you needed to make pit stops along the way, or at least land to get fuel, rearmed, or things of that sort, there could be a outpost or some type of outpost on a cleared strip of land where the aircraft can land. And since it's a turboprop and not a jet, it, it, it needs less length to take off and land versus a fighter jet or a air, jet aircraft in general. So that's a, another big important role. That it, a lot, that it has and the ability to just land anywhere whether it be on just a highway, grass, sand makes it important because then it can be used at the front lines to keep the enemy at bay or you can use it to attack as well since it has the ability to carry some payload such as a mix of bombs and missiles or just bombs or just missiles depending on the type of mission you're flying. And this aircraft and another thing too with like light aircraft light attack aircraft is even as i mentioned before the f5 freedom fighter it just has the same ability too where it can land on unprepared surfaces which makes it even more effective and allows for greater use and constant use of the aircraft so in the first place why this aircraft was created is for counterinsurgency or this, what I meant to say is this aircraft was made out of need for counterinsurgency and or warfare type stuff. Because, for example, just say if you, so you know, there's a group of extremists somewhere and you want to attack the camp or outpost or whatever it might be. You could use the jet, but the thing about jets is they fly really fast, so you have to make you have to be fast enough to where you don't stall. And a stall is basically when an aircraft it doesn't have enough um, air flowing over the wing that causes lift. In which, if there's not enough air, the speed will drop to a point where it literally falls out of the sky. And the way to just correct this is just to put the nose down, and when you do that, you gain speed so you can climb or get out of the stall. But a fire jet, you have to be able to be going fast enough to where you're not slowing down and drop out of the sky. And you gotta make sure you hit the target. And if the enemy wanted to, they could have missile launchers or um, anti-aircraft um, armament too. But the thing about turboprop, since it's a pro propeller plane, it's still fast, but it can still fly at much lower speeds than a jet can and be able to hit the target because it's not moving as fast as jets. So you have a little bit more time to get the target in the sights or drop the bombs there and need to be and stuff like that. So, and you can also get closer, like if you went with the reconnaissance, maybe if you were to spy, a turboprop can go much slower and get a couple more pictures and get a bit lower and the pictures turn out more clearly than if you did with a fire jet. So, and this aircraft is used by a couple countries in South America too. And the reason why it's so effective is since there is forest and jungle in South America, you want an aircraft that can fly slow enough to where it can see the terrain and when it 
uh, drops bombs or weaponry, it can hit the target. Whereas if you if there was a jet flying over, it has a chances of missing, and it, the jet's going too fast, and the pilot they can't slow it down enough. As I said, to properly image or hit the target, so that's the chance thing. And the as I said, with the turboprop being able to fly much slower than jet, it can hit its targets and more pictures if it did reconnaissance a bit more clearly and lower, so it's better detail. So these are just a couple of reasons why the A29 is considered the golden standard for light attack aircraft. And thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and see you next time.